One of the reasons why I wanted to make this documentary is that I'm confused. I'm confused why it's so difficult to get people to eat less meat. One of the first things anybody who starts to actually scratch the surface of the food system realizes is that this is really not a happy picture at all. I mean, we're kind of trapped in a food system that is very, very bad for us. No meat, what if have, no one ate meat, they produce less animals, then the temperature would change. So what happens when people that you really love and care about just don't see this issue? Do you dismiss them? Food is emotional. If I don't eat, you know, eggs, that means I can't have, you know, the cookies that my grandma used to make when we were little. People like eating meat. So it's not just a matter of, oh, I hear information and then I go make a change. No one is saying, hey, Johnny, um, you got an A, so I'm gonna give you some broccoli. Nobody enjoys the concept of less. So when you say to someone, I want you to eat less meat, they instantly feel somewhat hostile and sad. Well, I think you can eat a perfectly adequate diet and never eat meat at all. I don't see anything wrong with that. The food that we create has to invite people, entice people, inspire people to eat a better diet. It tastes just like chicken. Yeah. What, what do you eat? I never heard of avocado Have toast. you ever had an avocado? No. Have you ever had an avocado?